Mr. Faki has been in Zimbabwe to address the political changes in the country and get an update on preparations for elections due later this year. He met President Emerson Mnangagwa, senior government officials, and former President Robert Mugabe. I found him to be very lucid, and he explained that he had resigned for peace and the development of the country. Mugabe stepped down after 37 years in power in November last year following a military intervention and mass public protests. Faki said the AU is satisfied with the handover. Everyone has noted that the political transition was peaceful and in accordance with the laws of the land. If there was any unconstitutional change of government, then we have our instruments, our own rules, which would apply in that case. Since the transition has been publicly supported by the people of Zimbabwe, we are here to support the authorities. That support includes engaging the international community to end years of isolation, as well as providing assistance for the holding of free and fair elections. The Commission of Political Affairs met with the head of the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. A team from the African Commission will be coming to work with the local electoral commission. The African Union is also mobilizing partners to support Zimbabwe technically and financially in the organization of the elections. Zimbabweans are due to go to the polls between July and August, although President Emerson Mnangagwa has hinted at an earlier date. An undisputed election is seen unlocking much-needed foreign investment and international financial aid. Farai Makutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.